Um, my answer may be, and I'm speaking for myself the way I'm reading the bill, let's walk through a certain mechanism here. Um, if the United States functionally has cash flow to cover, uh, let's, let's pretend it's 75 percent of our spending. Sometimes, you know, in some bad years, it's all, we borrow 30 percent, 25 percent, but it's somewhere there. Um, the uh, authorization to borrow on, let's call it the tier one, I think is more about timing effect than it is cash. And, and, and you and I, I think, are maybe the only two here who've actually worked in debt markets. If, if, if you could yield. A absolutely. I agree with you. I just don't think the legislation specifically addresses the it, point that I think you're driving at. Okay. And, and, and my reading is it, it would provide that, that if, if you didn't have the shortfall because the receipts are coming in at the end of the month and my um, refinance and my new issue requirement, you know, well, actually, there's almost no reissue, so it's mostly a roll um, at that point, I don't have the cash to do my payout. I can borrow, and that's. I saw that more as a timing effect, which is which is for those of us who actually see a certain elegance here. And and my personal fixation is stability of debt markets. I know we all have our political spin we're going to give, but if you read the CBO update from two weeks ago, every dime, every dime of future borrowing from today through the next 30 years is functionally demographics. And we don't get much of a political play on demographics. We got old. If you read it, it's Medicare, it's three quarters of it. If we backfill Social Security, it's 25 percent. It's demographics. You guys can continue to litigate your spending, our tax cuts, great. Um, the drivers of the future debt, if getting old is Republican or Democrat, you guys can work that out. We need to telegraph to debt markets that even if we're going to be cantankerous and have a battle here on trying to get some fiscal discipline, that we are not going to drive the debt markets into stress. Oh, no, friends. So you may be missing out on receiving extra money every month. The Social Security Administration is now being urged to make it easier for Americans to maximize their Social Security benefits. This could lead to claiming hundreds of dollars extra every month. My friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. Also, I will be giving away two Walmart gift cards this coming Friday. If you would like to enter the weekly giveaways, please make sure that you click in like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My dear friends, the more videos that you watch and then comment on, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Every year, countless Americans voluntarily shrink their own retirement funds by claiming Social Security benefits way too early. At a time when your dollar doesn't have the same spending power and health care costs are creeping up, it is leaving retirees at great risk. So now a bipartisan group of politicians is looking to improve retirement security for Americans with legislation, which is aimed at helping them better plan for retirement. Senator Chris of Delaware is one of the four senators to introduce the bill earlier this week. He said, we can make it easier for countless Americans to claim Social Security at the best time and get the most out of their retirement income. The earliest Americans can start claiming Social Security is age 62, but those who opt to wait receive higher monthly payments with the maximum benefits and available to those who claim at age 70. U.S. Senators Bill Cassidy, Tim Kaine, and Susan Collins have said that the problem is that most people don't claim benefits at an age that would maximize their income in retirement. So for anyone born from 1943 to 1954, full retirement benefits are payable at age 66. The full retirement age increases gradually if you were born from 1955 to 1960 until you reach the age of 67. If you were born in 1960 or later, 
the full retirement age benefits are payable at age 67. That means if you reach your full retirement age of 67 this year, your maximum monthly benefit is $3,627. But if you are still 62 this year, when you decide to claim your Social Security, the maximum monthly payment that you will receive is $2,572. That is 29% less. Let's say you waited until age 70 to start collecting benefits. In that case, you can claim a maximum monthly sum of up to $4,555. That is almost $2,000 more a month than those who are claiming at age 62. The estimated average monthly Social Security retirement benefit in January was $1,827 which is far less than the maximum monthly benefits. According to experts, this proves the senator's point that Americans forego a significant amount of retirement income. In fact, according to a recent study, Americans forfeit nearly $200,000 in lifetime spending by claiming their benefits too early. So senators are seeking to change terminology to help people decide when to claim their benefits. Lawmakers want to change the Social Security Administration's terminology from early eligibility age to minimum benefit age. It would also change full retirement age to standard benefit age. Additionally, the new legislation would require the SSA to provide workers with updates on how much they've paid into Social Security and Medicare programs. For those aged 25 to 54 years old, that should be a cadence of every five years, and that increases to every two years between 55 and 59 years old. Once you hit the age of 60, you will receive an annual update. So dear friends, what are your thoughts on these proposed changes? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Deciding when to claim Social Security is a personal decision. There are many reasons why people claim before their full retirement age. Some need the money for essential expenses, to pay debts, or to weather financial shocks. Others don't think they will live long enough to make the most of the benefits that they have earned, while some people worry that Social Security will run out of money. While you may be interested in receiving your payments early, do keep in mind that waiting will secure you a bigger monthly check that will help you in older age. If you are worried about the size of your benefits, it's also worth looking into spouse's benefits. You are allowed to claim 50% of your spouse's benefits, but you should first consider how much you earn. One strategy that some Americans are using to delay claiming retirement benefits so they can receive the maximum payout is a so-called social security bridge. This is a phased approach to retirement income, where people are tapping into their 401ks or other assets as soon as they can, without triggering any penalties. Well, my most dearest and awesome friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Monday. Thank you, dear friends, for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I will be announcing two winners this coming Friday, for the Walmart gift card giveaway. My friends, if you would like to enter the weekly giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dear friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.